Hello, hello, how you doing? Two thirds of men experience male pattern baldness in clinically tested, proven supplement from Roman can stop it and slow it down. You thought you were gonna be a bald stooge? You don't have to be with our friends at Roman. Go to GetRoman.com forward slash Pat. $15 off your order. They have everything to make you the best you possible. Let's get to the show now, folks. So this week's trip was much different, okay? Had a business call in the airport. All right, I gotta go do a call with that. Uh... Hello. Won't say who, big conversation was had. I don't know how many people sitting shorts and a tank top in a weird theater in the middle of Indiana and have the opportunity to have that conversation. But I think it went well. He said fuck a few times. In the excitement of doing that combo than getting on a plane and flying to Florida, I forgot everything. All I worried about the last two days was the suit. What I was gonna wear, what am I gonna wear? Left it in the truck. I don't have any other long sleeve anything. That's the only key to get into the house? Yeah, that is the only key to get into the house. Oh, no. I, I locked all the doors and all the rooms. I mean, it kind of kills us right now. Yeah. We're gonna have to break a door. <laughs> no, I can jump you can over hop that. over that easy. The only time we've ever truly, definitely needed the Wi-Fi, because we're potentially landing to a place with no home. But it's not good news. Got no suit. Got no keys. Our plane's Wi-Fi's falling off. Appreciate you, man. Oh, you're that one. Thank you, man. Huge win. It's a big deal. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Can't get into the house, but got suits. Got suits. Got suits. Got suits. Got suits. Got suits. <laughs> I didn't forget the suits. Took a piss and found them. How about that, son of a bitch? We don't have the garage door opener that opens the gate. And if we were to figure that out, we do not have a key to get into the house. Hey, Phil, um, do you know the front door code? Ty's gonna go try to break into the house to get the garage door opener so we can get in. Phone. We got action. Uh, this is Pat McAfee. I'm renting your house for the next four months. The place is beautiful. We left the garage thing back at our house and the key, so we're trying to get in. A little bit of adversity here. A little bit of adversity. Mm -hmm. Ain't nothing to it. Who got it? Here we go. Let's fucking go! What happened? Hey, that's what we're talking about. Here we go. Into the house. I checked. That's locked. That is sturdy. Okay. Pretty secure house. Need a grease guy. Oh man. Yeah. The other way to open. Yeah. Out, bro? Hey, go back to us on the plane saying it's gonna work out. It's all gonna work out. It's all gonna work out. And it was back for the show. Who's on the show though? Fucking nobody. Ha ha! Ha ha! Not so fast. Oh, uh, you wanna know what I'm doing? Yeah. I'm currently booking Peter Schrager to the show right now via the DMs. You're a booker now. I, I've been a booker. 12.30, perfect. We'll call you about five minutes. I'm gonna ask you about all these undersized receivers and like what it was like for you. What time are you free? I'll FaceTime you at like 2.05 Eastern. 2.05, You can sing, you're handsome, you can play quarterback, can't do math for shit. You know that? that I just, oh no, oh no. Just got COVID tested. Now comes the time that I've been thinking about for my entire life. It's time to meet Vince McMahon. Vince was not there. Vince wasn't there. I know, this is a big deal. Vince was not there last Friday. Everything could be differently here in the next week or so. This will be my first Friday with Vince McMahon. And all anybody was saying is, uh, can't wait to hear what he becomes uh -huh. whenever Vince is in his ear, when Vince is in his ear or whatever. I think we now have to pretend that night one never even happened. Vince McMahon is somebody who if he was to say something to me, no matter how he says it, this is a self-made billionaire that turns something from a local situation to a worldwide phenomenon. I'm a massive documentary fan. I enjoy the hell out of people that revolutionize the world. Getting a chance to have that moment with Vince McMahon is one of the main reasons why I was like, I have to do this. Shit can change real quick when he is there. I can't wait to meet him on Friday. How do we think that's gonna get awesome? Does he know I exist and how much does he know of me, do you think? He 
has no idea who you are. Yeah, that's good. All right, good. So I got to change the first impression here. Yeah. Here we go. Oh. The anticipation was building. I was nervous. Would I be starstruck? Would I choke on my words? Would he hate me and fire me? It finally came time to meet Mr. McMahon. I think Vince is going to love you. I think he's going to love you from week one. I have not been told that type of story from other people. I think you're a lot like him. He's got a sense of humor. He's a heel in nature. I think that's going to help. I've been watching documentaries. Firm handshake. So, uh, that was awesome, obviously. He didn't fire me, okay? You know, he said he's excited to see it. It went really well, I think. It went well, huh? Uh, yeah, really well. In fact, when Vince puts someone over and makes fun of me, that means it went really well. Which happened immediately, by the way. Immediately, Michael Cole was made fun of. I was uh, complimented. Feels like we're on a good, a good start here. I say, I know I'm not supposed to say this, you don't like compliments, but uh, you're a legend, dude, so. Like, working with you is a reason why I said absolutely yes. And he laughed, and then he made fun of Cole. <laughs> so I think it was a good go. You went in for the handshake, just like you said you would. And he met you there. Yeah. Was, was it a firm grip? Yeah, oh yeah. It was a... <laughs> I was prepared. And know? then he was taken a little by surprise when you went back in for a second time yeah. for this handshake. I was a fist bump at the end. Yeah. I gave him a fist bump at the end. And he gave me one. I might be best friends with Vince McMahon too. How about it, huh? I aced the test? I said, I know you don't like compliments, uh, but I have to get this out of the way now. Thank you for the years of dedication for entertainment you've given me. Let's have a good time. Greatest television show in the history of television tonight. He said, sounds good to me. Maybe we'll be best friends. Now it's time for the show. Hey, let's get to the show, shall we? Now driving, Nia Jackson of the Barricade. Those walls do not budge, Michael Cole. And that those brick pillars do not budge. If you're the head of the team, I mean, he's getting very right now. Man. This is King 55, 60 spinners. You are. Head of the table, please come out here and save Jay Uso. Oh. World champion oh. Daniel Bryan. I think that's your spleen or liver that just got stomped on just like his abdomen. Oh. Hashtag cancel Cole is going to trend whenever that documentary comes out, isn't it, Sam? Vince was having a good time in my ear. A lot. He was in my ear a lot. Laughing. I think that's a good thing. Cole told me that's a good thing. He gave me a couple of things. Hey, need you to do this, need you to do that. That was really cool to get coached up in there. I still fucked up so many things. <laughs> I gotta get a lot better quick, but I think, I think Vince doesn't hate me. You can tell you studied this product, you studied the game. The wheels on the chair don't move on this floor as fast as I thought they would. So I got a table to the knee with a 330 pound bulldozer on the other side of it. But getting a chance to chat with Paul Heyman, I mean, I got to talk to the head of the table, Roman Reigns. Michael Cole, and I thought this is world's better, and I can't wait to see where we're gonna be One by SummerSlam. Yes, I agree. Vince McMahon, Bruce Pritchard, you name it. I got nothing but legends surrounding me. Until next week. Appreciate it. Thanks, buddy. kid. Thank you. Shout out to Roman, shout out to you. We'll see you one week from now.